I'm Simon Ditchburn. I'm the managing director of the Tudor Group of Companies. To my right is the Cube Condominium on Prattamnack Hill, and by the end of this show, I'm going to be standing on the roof. <laughs> We're back after the Songkran holiday. Now, if you know anything about Thailand and the Songkran holiday, then you'll know that it's the Thai official New Year, and it's also the biggest water fight in the world. During that Songkran holiday, obviously our supply chain stops the factories all close and basically all your staff go off on holiday so you end up being Billy no mate sitting in your office and if you go and get a sandwich from the local 7-eleven you're likely to get a bucket of water in your face So being back with our normal work schedule again, my deliveries are starting to arrive. That means the wall panels that will be going into place for the seventh floor. Now the seventh floor is the last full floor and the roof comes directly on top of that. So what we're installing at the moment is the walls. We'll be doing the same procedure that we did for the sixth floor. So with the walls going in place, the scaffold will follow directly behind. And the scaffold, of course, is the moulding, which this time round puts the roof together. So very shortly, you'll be able to watch it all come together and I will be standing right on the roof. We're watching the installation of the largest wall panel that we have to deal with. It's a corridor wall, but it's also the entrance to the apartments. On the right hand side, you can see there's an L-shaped cutout. That is the entrance door to the apartment. And on the left hand side, you can see there's a U-shaped cutout. That's also a doorway. It's actually into the access panels of where you'll find your water meter later on. The guy that's just stood up on the wall there, his job is to make sure that when the crane lowers the wall down, it doesn't knock the top of the door frame off. The small details are always the worst ones to repair later. Flying backwards over the seventh floor, you can see that the wall installation has now reached as far as the lift. Just coming into view now is the scaffolding which forms the moulding work for the eighth floor. As the drone spins, you're getting a nice reveal shot of how the building looks from Soy 2. Now as the drone is spinning in the opposite direction, you're getting a nice reveal shot of how the building looks like in Soy 3, which is right in front of the Nordic group. The 
seventh floor wall construction or installation as you can see now is right at the very bottom of what we call zone A so on top of the scaffolding now we can start putting on the waterproof plywood which will then receive the concrete for the eighth floor or the swimming pool roof see the wall installation has now started in zone B. Now this area is directly below the swimming pool. We've had another wall delivery this morning so that puts me well into zone B for the wall installation of the seventh floor. The eighth floor scaffolding is right behind, literally just one room behind and zone A scaffolding is already in place. So what you can see here at the moment is me being completely surrounded by that new delivery of walls and you'll notice that each wall has a number and that number then corresponds to the plan that we've drawn on the floor, number being installed to correct number. We've heard of paint by numbers, well this is install walls by numbers, <laughs> slight variation. This scaffold being installed in between the walls. My first time of standing on the eighth floor. That's the waterproof plywood in place in what we call zone A. On top of the scaffolding, the steel has now been delivered. There she is and that will be starting off the reinforcing steel next week in zone A. Just being swung across by the crane, that's probably one of the smallest panels that we have to install. It's actually a balcony separating wall where we separate the small compressor cabinets that hold the air conditioning unit inside. They're the ones that keep the air condition away from you and keep the noise reduction as much as possible. Scaffold with the 4 inch steel first, 
and then the two inch steel that follows. That's it, that's the last of the walled installation in zone B and all of these are directly below the swimming pool. start of the show I said that by the end of the show I'd be standing on the roof well here we are uh, okay I've still got to pour the concrete but nevertheless this is the roof level it's the roof with the swimming pool and I'm standing actually right in the middle of the swimming pool straight in front of me will be the sun deck the gym is at the far end and behind the camera we've got the rooftop apartments what I actually have here at the Cube is a two roof or two step scenario. We have the main roof here, which has got the swimming pool, the gym. It's a common area where lots of people are walking around. But then we have a second roof, which will be sitting on top of the rooftop apartments. So we have a weight difference scenario here, all within one slab, one section. And we have to make that change over where we're changing from the heavier apartments into the flat roof. Very much a difference. It's almost like a join. So you've got to join those two sections of engineering together. So where those joins are coming, we have the two large beams. There are two transition beams which transfer from the heavier apartments into the lighter roof. So really that's what this is all about, these two beams that you can see behind me and in front of me. They will actually end up being double the thickness of the floor, but it is a beam within a floor. So all of the engineering that we've got with the apartments are pretty much the same, floor by floor from top to bottom. But in this transition, we have to have a beam. If we didn't have the beam, if we had just gone as a straight slab running the two sections together, there is a real danger that you would actually crack at the joining point, and that really could be disastrous. The next area with the roof here that's absolutely crucial with the engineering is to physically support the weight of the swimming pool. You're not just dealing with the weight of the water or the weight of the pool itself. When people swim within that pool, the water is moving from one side to the other. So the weight is actually shifting with that water. So again, to give it the maximum support and span that right the way through the, the building slab, the rooftop slab, Beams are created that span across all of the columns within the area directly below the swimming pool. Now the aim of that is the weight of the swimming pool doesn't just go straight down through the columns, it actually spreads into the roof and spread out over the maximum amount of columns. So instead of the swimming pool just sitting directly over the three columns where it's actually going to span, through these beams it can actually spread out over eight columns. Then that will transfer through the columns floor by floor all the way down to the footings. Well, we're just a few okay. days away now from actually pouring the concrete of the roof. We have to finish off the reinforcing steel. The post tension has just arrived this morning and in about four days time, we'll be able to physically pour the concrete. So I'm gonna leave you now with flying the drone over the top so you can see all of the action and I'll see you next time when we actually pour the concrete. I'll see you soon.